Today I will show you how to terminate Leviton's HDX MTP splice module. To do this, you will need some tools and consumables, including Airman yarn scissors, fiber strippers for 250 and 900 micron fiber, a marking pen, lint-free wipes, isopropyl alcohol or fiber cleaning solution, a disposable bin for fiber shards, and a small screwdriver. When terminating high fiber count armored and or outside plant cables, additional tools and consumables may be required, including a flex conduit cutter, a sheath cutter, gel solvent, some marking tape, and a tape measure. A mass fusion splicer is also required during this termination process. The fusion splicing kit should include the splicing unit, a precision cleaver, a thermal stripper for ribbon fiber coating removal, and appropriate fiber holders. The parts that come with the HDX module include the module with lid and pigtail installed and an instruction sheet with a marking template for the fibers. The accessory kit includes the universal splice sleeve holder, mesh sleeve used to protect 900 micron buffered fibers and or other jacketed cable assemblies, nylon tie wraps, and splice sleeves. The splice module has a single chamber which consists of channels that route the inbound trunk cabling, a mounting point for the splice sleeve holder, and a slack storage area where all fibers route to the holder for termination. The pigtails are wound through the storage area and the pigtail connectors are already installed in the couplers. The pigtails will stay connected to the couplers throughout the termination process. The first step in preparing the module for termination is to remove the top lid. Engage the release tab and lift the lid from the rear of the module base. Now you will see the pigtail and the service coil. You will remove the fibers from the tray and lay them out flat. The incoming cable opening at the rear of the splice module has a diameter of 7.6 millimeters or 0.3 inches. Each incoming fiber should be evaluated to verify correct sizing as cable constructions do vary. Ribbon fiber should enter each HDX splice module within an outer jacket, breakout kit leg, or other frication tube. The mesh sleeve provided in this accessory kit is not recommended for use with bare ribbon fiber as the potential for breakage at the point of entry tie down exists. Three flat ribbon jacket constructed cables can be routed directly into the module. Large account trunks or central tubes with greater than three 12 fiber ribbons will need to be prepared with breakout kits, frication tubing, or other build up methods. Follow the manufacturer's directions to prepare such trunk constructions. If necessary, label the trunk cable legs appropriately. It is recommended to remove at least 35 inches of outer cable jacket from the entrance point to the splice module. Ribbonized cable should be routed into the module in the following order. Blue is ribbon one, orange is ribbon two, and green is ribbon three. Feed incoming cables through the rear opening and secure through the tie wrap slots and over the cable jacket with one of the provided nylon cable ties. This tie wrap will be removed after pre-routing and marking of fibers prior to termination. Route the trunk fibers concurrently through the cable entry channel and around the module base clockwise. One loop is recommended. Mark the fibers at the zero mark guide, remove the tie wrap, and remove all fibers from the module. As an option, route all fibers through the splice sleeve holder area and cut at the far end of the holder insertion area. When using this method, mark the fiber 35 millimeters back from the end for positioning in the fiber holder. For a loose tube trunk cable, ribbonize at least four to six inches back towards the trunk from the zero mark measurement. The pigtail is designed to allow for both ribbon and single fusion splicing. Ribbon splicing will be performed when terminating to the MTP splice module. When terminating ribbon fiber, Group the fibers together as they leave the connectors and route the pigtails simultaneously, counterclockwise, through the management tabs until all slack is stored and the ribbon is entering the splice sleeve holder area. Ensure that the ribbons do not roll or change positions during this step. Mark the fiber at the zero mark guide and remove all fibers from the storage area. 
As an option, route the ribbon fiber through the splice sleeve holder area and cut at the far end of the holder insertion area. We are now ready to perform fusion splicing. Place the splice module on the right side of the fusion splicer and the bolt cable on the left side. Place the splice sleeve holder near the fusion heater with the target sleeve positions away from the splicer. Install the ribbon splice sleeves to the trunk side fibers. Use the marking guide on the provided instruction sheet to shorten all fibers to 35 millimeters to the zero mark. Load the ribbon into the appropriate fiber holders to the zero mark and strip all tight buffered coating using a multi-fiber thermal stripper. Clean the fibers and perform a precision cleave. Load the cleave fibers into the fusion splicer and repeat for the opposite end. Perform fusion splicing according to the manufacturer's direction, verifying acceptable loss and attention test. Remove the spliced fiber from the holders and position the splice sleeve centered over the splice. Perform the heat shrink of the sleeve. Once each spliced ribbon fiber has cooled, install it in the splice sleeve holder. After each splice, load the ribbon fibers into the splice sleeve holder in the following order. Make sure that the internal strengthening device is in the vertical position when you install it into the splice sleeve holder. Now we will begin loading the terminated assembly into the module base. Begin by feeding the fibers from the connectors into the pigtail channel. Rotate the module base clockwise while placing the grouped fibers under the cable management tabs. When the splice sleeve holder is reached, carefully snap the splice sleeve holder into the receiving tabs. Verify all routed fibers are under the tabs and free of all snags. Group the ribbon fibers exiting the sleeve holder and continue rotating clockwise to route the remaining fibers into the module base under the tabs. Ensure that the ribbons do not roll or change positions during this step. Place the final length of trunk fiber in the outermost channel to the tie wrap entrance to the module and fine tune for any bend radius or routing adjustments. Secure the trunk cable to the base with two provided tie wraps. Verify all fibers are underneath the cable management tabs. Install the lid and termination of the splice module is complete. Learn more about the HDX splice module and the HDX family of fiber solutions at leviton.com slash HDX.